Hey, I come to you today from our car to tell you all about how we do road trips with lots of kids, not completely lose our minds. Here's some of my top tips. Uh, first one is to know how far you have to go. This has been hugely helpful and I have a really great visual tip to help the kids stay calm and well, maybe not calm, but to have a better idea of how far they still have left to go and how far they've already gone. So I don't actually have any with me right now, but what I usually do is get little post-it notes. I cut them into little pieces and I'll stick them on our dash or somewhere where everybody in the car can see them fairly easily or maybe hang them from the rear view mirror. And um, they'll be have certain amounts of um, distance allotted to them. Usually we'll do 50 miles each. So what we do is every time we reach 50 miles, we take off a sticker and then we do a little sticker dance where we all have a little party. <gasps> party, sticker dance, sticker dance, sticker dance. The kids think it's really lame. I think it's really great. It's a really fun chance to just kind of like jazz up our ride. Um, so that is tip number one. The other thing you could do if you were feeling like super motivated, but I usually am not, is you could print out a map of the place you're going and you could even already draw the route along it so the kids know exactly where you're gonna be going. And then you could have little like labels or points on it to show the kids where you've already gone and they could trace over top of it to see how far they've actually gone and how much further they have left till their destination. And that's the great thing about the stickers is after you take one sticker off, they know, okay, we're one down, but they can still see how many stickers are left on the dashboard. And so that kind of helps them like figure out, okay, we did one, you still have five left or whatever. And you don't have to do 50 miles. You could do like 25 or I don't know, whatever you want to do. Totally up to you. Tip number two. Um, have quiet but fun activities for the kids to do in the car. So one of our kids is really into Rubik's cubing right now. So he always has his Rubik's cube on him. He could do that all day long and be perfectly happy. Then we have some other things that only come out at special times. One being this mini Etch-a-Sketch. They love this thing and that keeps them entertained for a while. Another one, this is a favorite and we actually use this at home too, but I really like these paint by sticker books. These are fantastic. Mom, the kids love them. The they have, um, Mom, have this kind. They also have ones that are like a little Mom, bit more advanced for maybe bigger pool. kids, but these things are great. It's like a paint by number, except it's with stickers. So there's no mess. Hey, it's mommy. great. Hi, baby. <laughs> we have a visitor. No, I, get in. I went through the door. Say hi. Okay. So another, another thing that we have for our road trips are okay, these Mama, cards. Say hi. Oh, now you want to say hi? Come yeah. here. Come say hi. We're talking all about road trips. What's your favorite thing to do in the car? Uh, play around. Play around? Yeah. Yeah. And play around and do the other stuff. Sorry. Camera's falling all over the place. Okay. A couple years ago, I printed these out. Um, there's all sorts yeah, of huh? different. Okay. Take two. A couple years ago, I oh, printed these I'm out. Doing. Wow. There's all sorts of fun things to do on here. Um, there's, they're backwards. Um, I printed these out online. Don't ask me where I found them. You can Google it and find all sorts I of great things. There's can't... just different scavenger hunts and bingo. Obviously, the kids have already drawn on these ones and I didn't erase well, what them. What is this? Anyway, I laminated them that way. I laminated them and the kids just get to play with these while we're out. Um, they love that they get to use the dry erase markers and I love that they wipe clean super easily. So I can just hand them this and hand them a paper towel and they're all good to go. So those are some of the fun quiet activities. There's hundreds more that you could do, but those are just some of our favorites that we do while we're in the car on the go. Okay. Tip number three. You're three. Are you three? Yeah. Yeah, you're three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't take those off. All right, so tip number three is um, download audiobooks. We love audiobooks. And the great thing is we do a lot of read alouds when we're at home. So when we're on the road, I don't have to read out loud. It saves my voice. And we get to just do an audiobook instead. Um, we like Audible for that. So we can just purchase books What's and the, listen to them on there. called? That's, a, that's an Etch-a-Sketch. And then um, no, we also like called? to use Overdrive, no, which is, is our... No, what does this spell? Uh, that's a line. 
We like to use Overdrive, which is our library Yay. app. And then we can just download the their books for free, which is even more fantastic. So we'll usually do that and then listen to them uh, while we're in the car. We got a new car for this road trip. And although it has Bluetooth, um, the car's so loud. <laughs> can't hear anything anyway. So, um, our kids do have one has a Kindle and two have tablets and they can use audible and overdrive on those. So they've been using their headphones. And the nice thing is they get to listen to whatever they want to listen to. Um, but the downside is that I don't, um, get to put on our school books unless I enforce that, which I haven't so far, but that is an option. So that, and then having fun music too. Music always makes the ride go by faster. Um, so sometimes uh, in our other car, we have a CD player and we'll put on like our favorite um, VBS CDs. The kids love VBS music. So a lot of times we'll listen to that or whatever other CDs we have that they really like, or, um, you know, just listen to things from other playlists that we've downloaded. So those are all fun things that also help pass the time. Tip number four. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I really struggle with this one. But my fourth tip is take breaks. I tend to want to just push through wherever it is that we're going. I just want to get there and then not take that break that, you know, ends up taking like a half an hour when we could just be there a half an hour earlier. But really, it's pretty crucial to take some breaks. You really have to put those in there. Um, we'll usually, depending on the length of the trip, try and make at least a couple of potty stops and um, a stop for lunch. So our potty breaks are usually super duper quick. We just pull over, maybe we're filling up the gas tank and we run kids in to go to the bathroom. It's like five minutes, but when they come out of the bathroom, they can just run around a little bit, get some of that energy out for a couple minutes. Then we get back in the car and keep going. We'll do a couple of those. Um, we also usually will make a lunch stop and that's kind of a longer one. And those ones are really helpful too, because they get to eat. And then they also get a couple of minutes where they can just run it out. Um, and then everybody pees again before we get back in the car. Tip number five. Um, this one is kind of a dirty little secret of mine. Um, have a treat stash. Uh, I'm super like not wanting to ever hand out sugary things can't in the car. Get, can't get the bag off. Shake it. Because it just wires them up more. But um, little treats I find really, really helpful. So my favorite one is probably gum. Um, we have had some mishaps, so maybe gum isn't always the right answer. But if your kids can handle the gum, I highly recommend gum. Um, this is a good one because they can just chew it for a while and it keeps them kind of busy. Um, they can still be doing other things at the same time, but it just gives them something else to do. You did it. Do you like gum? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get gum in your hair last time? Yeah. Yeah, you did, didn't you? What yeah. happens? Um, another one is little things like mints um or um another personal favorite actually it's more of a favorite of the kids not so much mine but it makes them so happy lollipops um what is this? the kids love the lollipops they usually try and go for a nice organic lollipop like young earth i really like that brand but um I can't get a shot for, for this last for this road trip that we're on now um i had a leftover bag of dum-dums that never got oh, open for halloween you. We had to kind of clear out the house before we left. So those came with us and they're eating the dum-dums. The good thing about them is that they're small. The bad thing is they're full of food dye and who knows what else. But anyway, the size is pretty excellent and it keeps them really happy. So that's another good motivator um, just to keep everybody content is um, treats, little treats. But here's the thing with the treats. Do not, under any circumstances, do not give them liquids or you will be <laughs> stopping for potty breaks constantly. Like try three in 40 minutes. Ask me how I know. You have anything to say about that? <laughs> I have time to say that. You guilty? So the other thing is I know a lot of people are super against screens, as am I. I'm not a screen person and I prefer that the kids are not on screens, but I will say um, this last road trip, we have caved and have put on movies for the kids and it's really been kind of a lifesaver. Um, funny thing is we don't actually have a TV in this car. Our car is from 1996 
and um, it has something. I don't really know how it works. I'll just show you what it is. But it's this thing up here. And it's not a DVD player because there's no DVD slot to put in it. Um, but we have a fun little hack that we used to put movies on it. And I'll show you what that is in just a minute. All right, are you ready for the big reveal of how we watch movies in our car from 1996 that does not have a television? This is great, you're gonna love it. Okay, here it is. Ta-da! Here it is. Okay, I don't know if you can tell what that is because it's getting dark and it's a little harder to see. No, see if the lights that. help. We're not doing a movie right now, but this is how we watch movies on car rides. This is literally an iPad that is stuck to whatever this TV screen thing is that's not really, a, I don't know what it is. Um, and it's held up with rubber bands. And then we stick a cord in it and plug it into um, this little stereo system that we don't know the code to use the Bluetooth. So we have to plug it in with a headphone jack. Um, it's a little uh, something special, but it works. And then the kids can listen to the movie. Um, we usually just download something um, on of one of our apps or we maybe... Um, uh, one of the movies that we've purchased or something through iTunes. But that's how we watch movies in the car, in our old school car. And it works and it keeps people happy. So although I am not normally for screens, oh well, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to keep your sanity. So that's it. That's how we do on our long road trips. Um, it's Mo chips. still not all perfect Get and people still kid. cry sometimes and they still Get ask a million times, are we there yet? But um, a, these little tips have really, really, really helped so a lot for our longer trips. Um, so give them a try and let me know in the comments how they work out for I you or if you have any other I ideas or things it. that have worked for you. I would love to know what works for your family so we can try it out with ours too. All right. Thanks. See you later.